Hey everybody, Randy here in the Eastwood Garage. If you're looking to upgrade your bead roller, you need to check out the drive motor attachment from Eastwood that fits all current Eastwood bead rollers, as well as most other brands with a standard shaft size. In fact, if you're looking to buy your first bead roller, a great option is to buy an Eastwood hand crank machine like this 19 inch or the Elite 27 inch bead roller and also buy the drive motor, giving you a motorized bead roller at a fraction of the cost of a standard motorized bead roller. In fact, you can combine a drive motor with the Elite 27 inch and you'll also have a deeper throat than most motorized machines and still save yourself hundreds of dollars. Now before we show you the features, how easy it attaches, and how to fab a floor pan, remember, if you want more info at any time, just click or tap the button in the top corner. Now let's check out the drive motor. The motor attachment fits all current Eastwood bead rollers, the 8, 19, and 27 inch, as well as any bead roller that has a 25 millimeter shaft on the crank handle side, with the bolts that hold the shafts being 50 millimeters apart. If you're not sure about your current unit, it's really easy to check. Simply measure the diameter of the shaft at the crank handle end to confirm it's 25 millimeter. Remember to measure at the crank handle end where the motor will attach. Often the opposite end where the dies attach is smaller. Then simply measure the distance between the center of the shafts like we're doing here, or you can measure the distance between the bolts which attach the shafts to the frame to confirm it matches the 50 millimeter bolt pattern of the drive motor. If you have an older popular blue Eastwood bead roller, you can even upgrade that unit as well. The motor is easy to attach with a few bolts. Start off by removing the crank handle and make sure there's no burrs on the shaft, which can be easily removed with a file. The drive motor assembly slides onto the shaft of the bead roller and bolts are attached to hold it in place. Install the gear guard and you're ready to start fabricating. This drive motor was designed in-house by the Eastwood Research and Development team because our customers have been asking if there was a way to turn their old hand crank bead roller into a motorized machine they could use by themselves. The unit was built and then tested on all Eastwood bead rollers as it formed 300 feet of beads and sheet metal to make sure it had the durability we knew our customers needed. The drive motor is foot operated to allow you to form beads and roll offsets with increased accuracy by yourself whenever you need to do the work, rather than trying to schedule friends to stop by and help you. It has a 1.6 horsepower motor that operates on standard 120 volt current. The 75 to 1 gear reduction with a speed adjustment from 0 to 20 RPMs or 0 to 11.8 feet per minute provides the control you need for precision metal forming. The motor also has forward and reverse, allowing you to roll beads, flanges, and offsets in either direction. The infinitely variable speed control allows you to set the perfect speed for long straight runs or around tight corners where you'll want to go slower. And because you're not relying on a friend to turn the handle at a consistent speed to match you feeding the metal, you'll have more accuracy and better looking beads, flanges, and offsets. To make a floor pan, simply turn the dial to set the motor speed. Adjust the dies to the depth you want, which is easy with the toolless design. Press the foot pedal and you're accurately rolling beads. When you're finished with the bead, loosen the knob, remove the piece, and repeat the process for the additional beads you're rolling. Switch to the offset dies to create different shapes and add even more strength in the workpiece. Set the depth of the dies and begin rolling your offset. When you approach a corner, simply let off the pedal and turn the speed knob to a slower setting before pushing the pedal again and rolling around the corner. When you hit the straightaway and want to go faster, adjust the speed knob and keep moving. A set of offset dies are nice because they basically replace an entire set of flanging dies and come standard with a few models of our bead rollers. If you want to put an offset on one side for a floor pan to lay on, we'll again use the offset dies. Set them to the correct depth and distance and roll the metal to form a perfect flange for the next piece of sheet metal to lay on, which you will often need to do when fabricating floor pans. Bead rolling is a necessity if you're making your own wheel tubs, bomber seats, floor pans, or even pickup truck bed floors because it adds strength and appearance. If you really want to expand the capabilities of your bead roller, we even give the option of adding forming dies, which will allow you to make style lines, contours, and channels so you can form dash inserts, trans tunnels, fender flares, and more. So a bead roller can do much more than simply make a set of floor pans, and it won't take long until the tool pays for itself. To get a drive motor for your bead roller or to check out the complete line of Eastwood bead rollers, forming dies, and other accessories, simply click or tap the button in the top corner or follow the link that appears on screen.